Everybody, it's Bob Zimmer, Shadow Minister for Northern Affairs, Arctic Sovereignty and Northern Economic Development. Today at the Arctic Headquarters of the Canadian Coast Guard. Uh, I want to start off by saying thanks for all you do uh, for our northern communities and really for our entire country. Um, these folks provide access to what's called a sea lift so northern communities can have their goods, things like food and vehicles and all kinds of things brought to their local communities and the Coast Guard makes sure that that happens by often breaking ice uh, to enable that sea lift to get there. But in the Auditor General's report, and some of you have seen me talking about this, it's the report six on Arctic water surveillance. Uh, there's some uh, help that the Coast Guard needs, especially when it comes to their icebreakers. Uh, as uh, the Auditor General says, these icebreakers are between 35 and 53 years old and becoming increasingly prone to breakdowns and expensive to maintain. And when new ships are required, it takes uh, at least seven years from the time that the agreement is signed to when the ship arrives. So any kind of replacement is uh, almost a decade out. And we are seeing some of these ships start to arrive, including the Arctic Offshore Patrol Ships, or AOPS for short. But uh, you know, even the icebreakers and AOPS are, are both delayed, uh, really creating some stress uh, in terms of providing access to our northern communities. So uh, one last thing too to add to that is uh, there's been some gaps too in terms of infrastructure support. So these ships are up there and they operate, but there's, uh, it's not easy to refuel them. It's not easy to pull into different communities and uh, more support was identified by the Auditor General. It needs to happen. And it all uh, revolves around Arctic sovereignty and sovereignty really is uh, supporting uh, citizens in their communities and making sure that they can stay there uh, and be healthy and supported when they're there. So uh, there's some work that needs to be done uh, from the government to provide those resources and speed up the process. Um, and uh, it's our job or my job, especially to bring attention to the Arctic sovereignty uh, part of that. And uh, we've had some great discussions with the local uh, in command, the locals in command uh, about uh, what we can do to, to make sure we can do better. So. Uh, we have some other meetings today still and uh, we will let you know how those go and we'll keep you posted.